Blue Mammoth got turtles. Better than Falfels. This is another Matt review where gaming greatness awaits. Bowser's Inside Story has Bowser from the Dream. Anyway, the story goes as such. The Mushroom Kingdom is peaceful, awaiting another Bowser attack or another gift friend from the paper creature. The Toad family is getting dinner ready, and a toad comes rolling in for supper. Wait, what? The Blue Orbs inflates toads left and right, and Peach calls for meaning of it. The proportions. And among the guests is not only two of the villains, dangerous enemies, but the annoying sassy one, Starlo, the evil Star Sprite. She's definitely sassy, master. <laughs> that fucking annoying. That's why I like the trio better. Hmm. Can't agree with you more, homeboy. Anyway, Toadbird says says the cause of the Borbs are from board mushrooms sold by someone not in the Mushroom Kingdom. Gee, I wonder who that is. Cut, <laughs> That's right. And we better murder that son of a bitch. The Nintendo Idea CEO harder than the best. Boy, that was fast. Oh, Matt, you don't know how to come to this. Yeah. So Bowser shows up angry that he wasn't invited to the meetings. His kingdom was a part of the mushroom. Mario rudely interrupts him, and the two do get as usual. I like how the tutorial has like boss music instead of. Mario. <laughs> Good curse, brother. Thanks. Just learned from experience. And speaking of experience, Bowser goes down easily. To Pigeon Turtles! Cheap ass wish power! Fuck that, that's cheap! <laughs> Jengi never misses a cue. I heard that, pigs. Oh. Okay, so Bowser. Bowser gets. Who can go where that for being healed by Kamek and stumbles upon a shop and gets a lucky shroom. Which is actually a vacuum shroom and inhales everything around him like Kirby. He inhales Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toadworth, Starlo, and the rest of the people in Peach's castle. So Mario's inside his urge moment. Reuniting with Luigi and Starlo awakens Bowser, who is in Cavi Cape. Bowser sets out and runs into Fallful and his right-hand man Midbus. Fallful plans on taking Bowser's castle, and thus Bowser goes off to kick some ass. The battles themselves are awesome. Bowser uh, 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 still punches with eggs and breeze fire and fly. Mario and Luigi jump and hammer with A and B. Along well, the way, Bowser runs into some colorful characters, like Bokuno Monsieur and Brocky. Well, Brocky even gives him a vacuum block. But that healing he use, you dig me, Matty? I definitely dig you, Puck. Because Bowser can use this to help batteries for an immortal bros to fight. And even in the coins of what he's in, it's kind of Not to mention Bowser's battle music, Showtime, he even gets a kick-ass upgrade. It sounds like an awesome battle. Three little maids from school are we? Bird as a schoolgirl as can be, filled to the brim with girlish glee. Three little maids from school, everything is a source of fun. <laughs> what the hell? Excellent shot, Mr. Joe, except for the fact that you missed. Fire again! Frederick, you magnificent bastard, I read your book! Oh, that's a she. <laughs> oh, thank God you're here. Joe and Lakara have gone insane with violence. Destroy them until they're nothing but rubble! Did you hear me? Annihilate them! 
Do I have to start paying you so I can cut your wages? I love it. God help me, I love it so. Moving on, you'll have to dodge enemy attacks. By jumping, hammering, punching, or dragging on punch. And some enemies are reach as tough, but Jumping and fire, see? Uh, the cutscenes... <laughs> ...scenes themselves are alright, especially Bowser interacting with the brainwashed minions, learning about the Dark Star, and Bowser burning all his fat. Hang on. Trying battles, Lord Bowser is so fun. You have your punching, which is simply called my sliding, as that is. The fire breath. Which is. like. free. And the usual countering by attacking the screen of the of silence. He's even got a finishing move called a spinning slice. Done by repeatedly tapping. Repeatedly. And rotating a circle. There was a punch of a thousand boosters. Where am I reading, bro? Yep. The only downside is that you can't gain experience. And and while well, that is not going to be any there's the oh, spoiled it. The final battle is pretty epic. They're in the dark wing. The music for this epic battle suffers a blank. What do you know about this Even Bowser's body is not perfect. He keeps the DS in the form of Well, of course, you still have to just say that. The eyes are Oh, and the music still plays. The play itself is Let's bring this to the other side. But the Cooper Kingdom has come down from the woods. I'm Goombas for Bowser Jr. riding on one thing. Yes, Peter, you're right. Goombas are bored, duck. They're seeing mushrooms and messing up Lord Gaddy. Hands are stuck. Wants are being knocked over like dominoes. Bowser hears in the meaning, but it's not by a Wait a second. Did you miss? Yes, you're right, buddy. Just like Minion Quest, this story. Shits. Oh boy. Those bored Goombas were awful to me. Part of his plan to finally get the dark star. And we can see followers. The best fitness friends take care of the business. Litter! But what your critter means is that these three lights are formula that gives a board effectively as a miracle. See what Tom Formula did. Me. He said the good character, the mega onion, and it. So naturally, Bowser <laughs> sets off an adventure to get that skeleton made. But unfortunately, caused him more complications. And is even more immature. 
Prince trying to be king. Is that? Oh, they got that story. <laughs> I've never seen a king or beast with quite so little hair. I'm gonna be the main event like no king was before. I'm brushing up, I'm looking down, I'm working on my board. <laughs> Banana Beak is scared. <laughs> it's Mr. Banana Beak to you, fuzzy. I'm so like Lion King. He ends though. up causing more problems problem. than he cures. Better gather some allies and build up your very own army. Create How many mini quests for you? Your own you have first officer moves. Four Your power. You better than your allies. Group attacks. And our bonuses for the Already improving the group. Team player in the class. Few flaws. For one thing, why don't the elite trio of Private Goop, Sergeant Guy, and Corporal Paraplonk from Bowser's Inside Story take the lead roles? They do appear as a sort of rival group to the three captains, but I can't be the only one who would much rather play as established characters than generic nameless mooks. Regardless, the cutscenes and fan service are easily the best part of Minion Quest on the whole, because frankly, the gameplay is hot garbage. However, that aside, the battles do get harder to beat, so in turn you have to get better too. Especially some minions, Bowser will fall for. Minions have Malatone Formula X, and you can't deny these bastards only use Rally or Snack Time at the exact point. That said, this mode is pretty awesome. It brings back the power bones, and bullies, and very clean from shell gases, however, the main game, as well as the side story, gets a perfect 10 out of 10. And I think it's so good to push this off with this very special message. Hear me, citizens of the great Nintendo. I'm afraid I was informed you of some of the news. Audience 99, I, Matthew Grosier, will become your new idea here. This time to put a stop to his active video game extremes. Okay, by more minion forces. We was all fighting together until they worked out the fast of the earth! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>